Hey guys, it's time for some faves. I'm doing my November faves along with my October faves, but let's keep that a secret because I skipped those. Anyway, let's get into the beauty products first and then I'll do some food and songs and TV shows and apps that I like and have been loving for these past few weeks. I have five beauty products that I have been using a lot during the past couple of months. So one I got back in August, maybe the end of August or so. I was using this a little bit in September and then I just have continued to use it. It's the Joyco, Joyco, I think that's how you say it, the Instant Refresh Dry Shampoo. And honestly, I don't exactly know what this does. It says that it leaves your hair feeling clean and refreshed. Basically, when I put this in my hair, when I spray it, I feel like it makes my hair a little tiny bit less frizzy if I have little flyaways going on. And I also feel like it gets rid of static if it's dry in the area. And I really, really dislike static. So I'll try to spray this in my hair if um, my hair is like acting electric-y. Electric it has a fresh scent as well, just kind of smells like a hair product. And the really good thing about it is you don't feel it in your hair. It's a zero for hold, so you don't feel any product in your hair. It's not sticky or hard or anything like that. Secondly, this 24-hour Super Stay Concealer by Maybelline. My shade is medium beige, and this might actually get a little dark for me in the winter because... I'm not going to be able to tan or anything, so my face is going to get really white unless I use a self-tanner lotion, which I might do, the bronzing lotion, so I might start that up again. Anyway, getting back into this, I really like the consistency, and there is this brush inside. It's just like really tiny, and I just basically will put a dot under my eyes if I feel like you know, I look a little sleepy or tired. So it helps with the under eye circles and if I have a nasty blemish then I'll also put a little dot on the blemish and just kind of work it in. And then I'll put my BB cream slash foundation on top of this. So that's how I do it. I just feel like it stays on the skin really well because it's not too creamy. It actually like is a little bit hard to spread around. That could be a good or bad thing but I think it's good because it stays in place. Now I have some Essie nail polish. This is actually the first Essie product I have ever purchased and it is called San Tropez. I wanted a nude nail polish and I was at Target with Rosebud 143 um, when we were in LA for a YouTube program. So I asked her out of a few different nude nail polishes which one she liked best and she's like, oh my gosh, I love Essie. So I tried it out and I really like the color for one. Secondly, it stays on really a really long time so it doesn't really chip for a while or anything. The only thing that I noticed is it kind of took longer to dry than my normal cheap nail polishes or even OPI or anything. In my opinion, maybe it was just that day because I was impatient or something, but I just felt like it took a little longer to dry than other nail polishes I've used, but the end result is very good, so I like it. Another thing that I got from Beautycon, did I even say this was from Beautycon? I think I did. This was a Beautycon sample product I got. So anyway, I got some Bare Minerals eyeshadow, and this is The After Party. See? The After Party. It comes with four different eyeshadows and then a little applicator. I've been using this for a few different reasons. I use the brown shadow to fill in my eyebrows and give them a different shape. I use the kind of whitish color to form the highlight under my brows and then on the inner corner of my eyes. Sometimes I'll wear it as an eyeshadow as well because I really like white slash silver eyeshadows and then see the silver right there is perfect for eyeshadow because I love me some whitish silver eyeshadows. I don't really use the black because I don't really do smoky eyes very often but I should try it out. Here's some swatches for you. That's what they look like. Final beauty product and I got this from Walgreens I believe. It is Studio Makeup and it is a waterproof eyeliner. I have been wanting to try a waterproof eyeliner for a long time because 
when I'm wearing normal eyeliner, which I'm doing right now actually, it tends to smudge and yeah, it just gets all over after a while. So I'm like, maybe waterproof will work for me. This definitely stays on better than this does. It's obviously a lot more difficult to get off if you want to take this off before bed or anything, but here's what it looks like and the end of it has like a little sponge smudger thing. So I really like this. Um, at first, the first couple of times you put it on, it feels like it doesn't spread very well. Don't judge this by the first time you apply it because it might not spread as well the first time you apply it as the third time you apply it, say, because I think there might be a layer of something on here, so once that gets worn off, then it's at its regular consistency, and it is a little less um, smooth as some eyeliners, probably because of the waterproof part. But it still does go on very nicely, so it's something I have been liking a lot. Moving on to food, because you guys know how much I love food. Count Chocula. I've actually been saving this empty box for about a month because I couldn't do my favorites last month due to being in LA and it falling on the exact wrong time. When I got back, it was practically two weeks into November, and then I just didn't want to post October favorites that late. So anyway, I seriously ate this stuff for about a week straight and then a couple times after that, of course, to finish off the box. I love Count Chocula. It's chocolate cereal puffs with marshmallows and it's just so good. So this was definitely something that I loved around Halloween time. <clears throat> my voice, that's great. One of my new food obsessions that I just really love so much are these lemon bars and they're from Fiber One. They're only 90 calories. I don't get them because of the calorie part. I actually wish that they had more calories because sometimes I'll just want to eat these for breakfast and I'm like, I can't just have 90 calories for breakfast. I need to eat something else too. So it's not the calorie part that turns me on to this or that they have fiber in them. It's the taste. They are so delicious. The bars are about this big. They're a square in there. There's six in a pack. It's cakey, then it has some harder pieces of lemon inside, a lemon cream piece that's really good, and then like lemon cream frosting drizzled. They're so, so good. I really like lemon flavored desserts such as lemon Girl Scout cookies and lemon cake, lemon, lemon. I like lemon stuff. Something I've been eating practically all year have been these mandarin orange cups. I usually would buy them in a four pack and I was like, oh, I go through these way too quickly. So I found these, this 12 pack at Target and I've gotten a couple of these so far. If I'm not able to buy fresh fruit or I don't feel like peeling an apple or washing something, I know very lazy of me, but I'll have a cup of these instead. So I still feel like I'm getting some fruit, but I don't have to go through the trouble if I'm in a hurry or if I'm filming or anything to make something. They're pretty tiny, quick snack. They are delicious. One fashion item that I feel is worth mentioning is this arrow top that I actually got maybe a couple years ago. It has sparkles in it. I don't know. I might have got it last year. But it has sparkles in it. It's black and it is long enough to be worn just with leggings. So it's kind of like a sweater dress but it's just a thinner material and it has a band at the bottom and bands at the end of the sleeves and I like how versatile this is. I wear it like I said with a pair of leggings. I like to wear it with patterned leggings and I usually use my white and black hound's tooth leggings. They look great with these and then I'll pair it with a pair of boots, pair it with a pair. But I've also put a high-waisted skirt with this to make it look kind of like a long sleeve dress and then paired a belt with that. So there's just a lot of outfits you can make from a plain top and I definitely want to find more tops like this, more tops that I can wear with leggings. So let me know if you see tops when you're out shopping that are perfect to wear with leggings. I just like when tops are long enough to wear with leggings. It's sometimes hard for me. I feel like I have a long torso because some people will be able to wear these tops like a dress and I will try them on and they'll only like go to my hip or something and I'm like, no fair. An app that's pretty cool for Instagram is this one called Space Effect. 
it comes with a lot of overlays that you can use on your pictures and it's just pretty cool so I used this on Instagram for a little bit to edit some pictures another app that I really like is a game and it's actually on my boyfriend's iPad and he has that with him right now but it's called the room and it's a puzzle app so you basically are in a room and there's this box in front of you on a table and there's so many different puzzles you have to solve to get to the middle I'm actually not done with it yet I've been playing it for quite a while and I just I take breaks so I don't beat it all at once but I actually was stuck for a little bit so it's very challenging at the same time there's parts of it that are easy enough so it's a good balance of simple medium intermediate and challenging puzzles some songs that I have been listening to a lot have been Timber from Kesha. I really like the mix of westerny, rapish pop. It's just a fun mix and it's so catchy and upbeat. I also really like Applause by Lady Gaga and I liked her segment on SNL when she hosted Will Be Whole show when she hosted SNL. That was pretty cool. Actually, I've been watching Saturday Night Live a lot with my boyfriend because he's been watching that for so long, but I watch it a lot with him. So that's one of my shows that I've been liking a lot. And oh yeah, we got into shows. Um, Modern Family, we've been watching a lot. At first, I hated it because of the camera. I thought like the camera angles were like really jerky, but after you watch it a few times you kind of just forget about it so I think that's a hilarious show and another show let's see the Simpsons I've been watching a lot and then in October not so much November I was watching eight simple rules a lot a lot and also boy meets world but I kind of haven't been watching those lately dancing with the stars as always I love to watch and I've been watching that this season and that's all I can think of for shows and favorites really. So if you guys enjoy these videos, let me know. Give me a thumbs up and if you want me to do more favorites videos. Also, I do have a video um, tutorial on these nails. They don't look as good right now because they have been chipping. And I have DIYs coming up, Black Friday haul. Check that out if you haven't seen it. Alright, I think that's it. Check out all of my links in the down bar and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye. My October faves. Fave, faves. Uh, now what am I going to do with this? Wipe it on my leggings because they're black. Uh, there we go.